Hello, it's Keith for Kami's Corner. I'm on the Serenity server. And today we are gonna make my nether tunnel. I haven't even designed it yet, but we're gonna just go for it. <laughs> um, I got some nether brick. Obviously, that's gonna be the main ingredient. And I got plenty of stuff that's behind me called sand. So, last is gonna be the other. Um, ingredient. So netherrock and glass, probably red glass and probably some clay. So I um, made an outline of where my tunnel is and here, here it is. So areas like this where you can look around, I will have glass all around here so you can look out and then support structures and maybe something hanging from the ceiling. I don't know how intrusive I want this to be on the nether because I do share this server with a whole bunch of other people and I don't want to make something and cause people to go around it. But, um, so here obviously this is where the track's gonna be and then they're gonna have a half slab to the right of this so nothing can spawn. So on the lower side of that then glass coming up on the side and maybe a glass top. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the top. And then I'm going to have structures every so many spaces. Probably cobblestone or something. Maybe uh, brick. I don't know. But in here, I don't know what I'm going to do where the places where the glass is supposed to be. But that is for me to figure out. So I'm going to get to work on this and uh, show you some stuff done hopefully when I come back okay I have been AFKing at my spider spawn my spider farm um, the wool shop has been doing amazing I know I told you I was gonna show you what I've done on my you can stay on my nether tunnel oh both of them are here and um, Let's see, I'm going to put that in there for now and that in there. What? Oh. I've been working on that a lot, but at the same time, i got to keep up the wool factory because the wool is being bought at an amazing rate. So I think the wool factory is a smash hit. But before I go and show you the nether tunnel, I am going to insert a little video clip. I was hanging out here yesterday and Dr. Kepler, yes that Dr. Kepler, had um, shown me his place and he had something amazing going on there and I'm just going to show you a clip. I didn't have my mic on so there's no talking but it's a short clip and I will be back as I head on over to show you my nether tunnel. One thing, um, fireworks are awesome, aren't they? <laughs> One thing you notice, I moved my portal connection down here instead of up at the top because it looked kind of awkward up top. But here we go. And here is part of my new tunnel. Obviously, I haven't finished it, but this is what it is going to look like. Um, when there is, when it's in a netherrack cave that I've dug out, and I put this fire aspect down here and another rock behind it and add the, the glass up there. But when it's open, I'm going to get rid of that back panel so you can see through it and see the nether. Um, I think this will work out. And as you see, I've done a few sections. Um, one thing I noticed, I guess this is built over a um, fortress so sometimes withers spawn up here and I would love to add an access to get out of this somehow uh, so I can roam the nether but um, that will come at a different time so 
that is what it's going to be looking like from the outside here. Yeah. It's not too much of an eyesore. People will know exactly what it is, but it's going to take a whole bunch of materials. Um, each little section is a stack of glass and a stack of this netherrack. And I have made four sections and there's going to be probably 230 of them. So this is going to be a long-term project. It's not like I'm going to cut and come back and show you, you know, 1,400 blocks of nether tunnel complete. It's going to take a little while. So I'll show you the progress of this as it goes along and got to fix things as I go. So I don't know uh, what I'm going to come back to, but I'll be back in a bit. I am back at the wool shop. And as you can see by looking down, Jeb has gone missing. Most likely, he lost his lead and he left. Or, more likely, somebody came and pinyotted him and felt bad and took off. Or he could be wandering around somewhere in town here. But, that's beside the point. I came back to steal my fence back. Yeah. And, I have changed the wool shop a little bit I've added whoops I've added all these chests and added some inventory to them all to make it a little easier to find the right colors that you want for the wool ah and some more white I don't think I did any business since last night but there you go um I'm gonna keep filling these up until these chests are completely full and that doesn't mean the prices go down that just means that there's a full inventory because it's taken a while to get some wool and it's gonna take a while to fill up all these chests uh, multiple trips but um, that's a goal so that goal will be fulfilled at some point when I am not too sure so I've added um, some track to my um, and a door to the side so I can go get some nether quartz to help ember but um I've added some track to this whole road of mine that I've made to spawn but there's a problem so here's the problem um you'll just see I'm um, let me get to the power there we go um so it works fine and as you see, I've only completed a little bit of the tunnel so far. But if anything spawns on the track, and there's nothing to keep anything from spawning right on this red thing, it's going to get in the way and stop you. And I've run into that problem. I've also run into a problem of angry pigmen because we've been... This is kind of like a area of the nether that has yet to be touched so there was tons of quartz around and I invited some people over to help farm it because I tend not to build with quartz because I think it's a little expensive um, and I don't really particularly care for getting it but as you see it does the job but something will spawn on here and things like that happen also which means gas have made it here and these tracks are kind of expensive so I'm gonna probably protect the whole oh there's a power one missing there too I'm gonna probably protect this whole thing with a wall before I actually build the track or maybe I should just focus on these open areas first to protect this before I do the insides, maybe that's what I'll do. But I'll tell you right now, um, in real life, it hasn't been a really good week for me at all. Um, I live in South Florida. We lost air conditioning, so for about a week now, um, I've been in an apartment that's been between 85 and 90 degrees with high humidity because the AC is not there to cut out the humidity. Um, my headphones have broken so right now I can only hear in my right ear and I don't have the the 
funds till Friday to get another set of headphones. So I don't really particularly want to record all that much with bad headphones, just in case something screwy is going on. Um, I'm a freak like that. I think I'm just going to get on the cart. Go this way. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get on the cart. Get on it. Okay. Um, and it's like the last week before my daughter goes back to school and we've been busy with that and oops hey hey come back here thank you now so it's it's been a really tough week and i haven't had the time that i've wanted to re make these episodes hey where you idiot well, um, so I need to relax. I need to get my mojo on, f find my true inner self, become one with myself. And I decided to add a new sky. He probably saw it in the last clip and was like, what the hell is that? I decided to bite the bullet and use Optifine. And, um, and download a sky that um, Lapis Demon had made a video about how to get it on there and I love like her sky and I like her videos and so I make bad jumps on the trees so I've decided to do a I don't know how this is gonna work if it's gonna be any good do a little time-lapse of night and today it, it's just been a really 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 rough week for me uh so i'm gonna take the day let's make sure i'm looking in a direction that is worthy which way is that that's west and we'll just go have fun enjoy the time lapse and the music uh i guess i'm gonna play this song that i wrote my daughter when she was <clears throat> born she was 10 weeks premature, born at 1 pound 14 ounces, and after she was born, she went down to 1 pound 9 ounces. Very serious situation, but she is 8 years old now, healthy as a horse. But um, being a musician, I wrote a song for her um, when she was in that situation, and I'm going to do the time lapse and watch this sunset and the moon set. And you guys can listen to the song. I may take this whole part out and put it in a video all by itself. But have a great day. This is Keith for KMA's Corner. Sorry for the weird video. I'm not recording in my situations. Um, but enjoy this time lapse. <laughs> 